Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have flashlight from Trustfire. It's T90R with SBT 90.2. It was kindly sent to me by them, so big thanks to them. And as always, I'll post link where you can find it. Hello friends, today we have Trustfire Tactical Flashlight T90R with max output 4800 lumens and max throw it said 1600 meters. Let's open the box. Box is made from I guess ABS plastic. We have the manual inside. Let me show you this. This is in different languages. Here you have the specs, so you can pause if you need. I won't go deep into this now. We have spear O-rings. One, I guess, for front and other for back. We have gun holder it's magnetic with protected i guess it's some kind of rubber so you don't scratch the barrel i don't have a shotgun to test it but it's magnetic and i'll post link in video description to other guy who tried it on the shotgun We have remote with double spring. This one locks and this one is for short bursts. Also have lanyard, elastic, some kind of strap, I don't know where to use it, and charging cable. And we have the flashlight itself. So let's put the box somewhere else and see the flashlight. And here it is. Big long flashlight with very deep reflector. I'll show you later how it looks. Here we have the battery, that's trust fire battery, it's two batteries connected. You can use your batteries 21700 as flat tops, as button tops, but if you use flat tops you need some kind of spacer in between. Double spring here, very strong spring. And we have this part, which is a bit hard to unscrew. Also spring here, so should be good for using on the gun. And here is SBT LED in a deep smooth reflector. And 
and now the UI. So one press to turn it on, one press to turn it off. When you press, I don't think that you can see it on camera, but the button is glowing and shows you the battery left. Button is forward switch, so if you have pressed it, you can turn on the flashlight for momentary mode and lock it like this. This button changes modes and it has memory, so if you leave it on turbo, any mode is remembered. And you can use it like this. So quite simple UI. And now I think the best way is to see how it performs in the dark. So see you in item shots.
I hope you enjoy those lighting shots. Now we have front time graphs and as a premium flashlight, this flashlight has brightness stabilization on all modes. On turbo, it steps down. I guess it's timed step down. And here are all graphs. And also I made graph for turbo restart when you cool the flashlight. No big difference if you cool it more or less. Hope you enjoyed watching my review. So some final opinion about this flashlight, what I like and dislike. So the design is quite nice, a bit of knurling, defense, and I like the size of it. You can use it even as defense weapon. Also, I like that it is forward switch. Modes are remembered, so it has memory. Very good. Throw is not that. At least I measured less than this, but it's okay. One thing, one downside I didn't like about it, that from turbo it steps down immediately. It's not like it jumps down, but it doesn't hold. It just goes straight down. But as it goes straight down, you can use it more times on turbo because the battery is not utilized for 100% at all time. And I think that's it. No big problems with it. It has charging port. It has battery information. It has forward switch. Brightness is stabilized. One more thing I would like to see maybe in the future that the third mode, one before the turbo, is some kind of low. And I would like to see it a bit stronger, maybe 50% or 40%. Sorry, please don't mind my dog <laughs> snoring while sleeping. Yeah, I digress. So, very nice flashlight. Nothing bad I can say about it. Just a good thing. You got the case. You can use it as tactical flashlight on your gun. So good for hunting. And that's about it. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.